here I'm tying on the rope and doing a climb. Uh, this one is recommended. It's been not very crimpy, but a good challenge and fun. Um, we can use it red as well, which is nice. And, and also these features are in, like that pink one I was using, that's a feature. Uh, use the wall here. And so I'm using the crimp here with my right hand. I'm basically just trying to still open hand with my left, just so that ring pulley, um, ring finger pulley doesn't get too much strain. And this tiny little one is just <laughs> very small, very hard to actually open hand grip it. But I manage it just without putting too much strain on it. And up to this big sloper. Um, basically I use this as a rest, um, do some chalking up and I'm going to go out to this red here and grip one here with my, the hold I'm using here with my left hand is quite small, ideally you'd want to crimp it but um, in the open hand, and the open hand grip just doesn't quite, um, it's never going to be quite as strong as a crimp so that was a bit tricky there. Whoop, a little balancey toe switch, foot switch. I need to go out to the right here. Um, it's quite balancey at this point. Can't really do too much. Um, I'm just going to Bring my, shift my hips over, so I can free up my left hand, move over and balance. That works out quite well. Then over to the right here, get that. And a little tiny crimp. And see, so I'm just looking about. I can use those features on the right, the like snake things. Um, at this point, I'm just looking around thinking. This is quite hard. It was quite hard so far. I was getting a bit pumped, and the rest just looks crimpy. So I think, nah, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't want to risk my you know, ring finger by because I know if I kept going, I would enjoy the challenge and want to crimp, um, basically just to claim it. Because um, it was looking quite good fun. Um, so I thought, nah, I'll just leave it and jump on back to bolt ring onto this yellow one. Uh, V4. Mm, not many crimps at all. More slopery. Actually, a couple of crimps up the top, that's it. As this time's better, I you know go with my right hand to that one, and then out. Bring my foot up, then out left to this sloper. That seems more efficient and feels easier to do it that way. Again, up to this one. Feet a bit higher. That's terrible foothold. That's not great. I find this one, but I'm just feeling quite weak there. No chalk or chalk was not so good, so it was getting slippy. See, so I tried to do a drop knee. Which I'm just short of, and feels as though if I went for it, my hand would come off the left hold, and I'll be left holding that crimp on its own with no feet almost. So I just left that, came back down to a bit of rest, and try again. Here I'm just going for good drop knee opportunities, but each of these 
feels so if I did a full drop knee it would just pop off so they're not going to work and kind of just resort back to this matching on the sloper that seems to be kind of the best way to do it but yeah <laughs> trying so there was on the wall a bit too long trying all these different moves so got tired okay back on straight up to here basically I want to blitz through this one this was my side right blitz it and then here actually crimp from my left hand just because I want it done and yeah fall off the last hold but that's basically the beta worked out I wanted to go quite fast there just to try it I was getting weak and yeah it probably was a bit sore at the end just from doing a couple of crimps here and then on the 6C as well used a few crimps kind of when I needed to but yeah that's it thanks for watching